In God we trust, one nation under God, God bless America, thoughts and prayers. There are all phrases used by elected officials and many Americans every day. And although the policies and ideas can be different in each party, religion can play a major role at the ballot box. So joining us now, Calvary Chapel Cornerstone Church Senior Pastor Ken Kerrigan, who is live from Florida, and Summit Ministries President Dr. Jeff Myers. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Absolutely. Great to be with you. I want to start with you, Ken. Uh, what issues matter to your congregation? All the issues that everyone else is concerned about. You know, the economy goes up and down, and there's seasons in life. And so we hold to what is sturdy and steadfast, and that's the love of the Lord. You know, God displayed that when God said, I so love the world that I gave my only son that whoever would believe in him would have eternal life. And then he displays that in caring for the disciples as he washed their feet, and then he gives the parable of the Good Samaritan. And so we need to get back to the foundations uh, of the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you and show the love of Christ. You know, here in South Florida, it's a melting pot from all around the world. And we come into the church with all the, uh, our diversities, our cultural and ethnic differences. And we come into the church as a family to love on one another. You know, how will they know we're Christians? By our love for one another. And I think we got to get back to the foundations of faith. I always love to hear John 316 there. Um, Dr. Myers in Colorado, how do you handle politics from the pulpit? Is this something you talk about with current events or is it something you try to stay away from? Well, you know, at Summit Ministries, we're focused on the rising generation. So I mostly work with young adults. I don't have a congregation in that respect, but I've been able to work with hundreds of thousands of them. And so I can see what's going on. They're really distressed by all of the talk about Christian nationalism. They don't think that that's even a thing. Uh, they do not believe that it's a democracy that's on the ballot or that this election is about Trump. They're, they're looking at four things primarily. Number one, they're looking at inflation. They believe that the government policy, economic policy has caused this. Number two, they're looking at crime because they believe that government policy has allowed this. Number three, they're looking at education. Those who are parents are focused on parental rights because they believe they've been locked out of the system. And then fourth, they're focused on the issue of abortion because they believe, as most people in the world do, that it is always wrong to intentionally destroy an innocent human life. So I tell them, start with those. Don't start with the personalities of people. Start with the principles, then move to the policies, and then the personalities. That's how our founders did it, and they were able to establish a great republic. Well, uh, Pastor Kerrigan, I want to bring that up with you, uh, the abortion discussion, because I think in Georgia it's specifically interesting because you have Herschel Walker being accused uh, of paying for a woman's abortions. Um, and then also being a very pro-life candidate with no exceptions. Then you have uh, Raphael Warnock, who himself is a pastor. He's on the side of the argument here uh, where they want to make uh, abortion a federal standard. And so how do you reconcile those two? You have the man of God who ostensibly is on the side uh, against where a lot of other people, maybe in your congregation, might side. Well, he doesn't answer to me. He's going to answer to the Lord Jesus Christ about what he believes. I believe in life, that God foreknew us before we were even created. Um, it, is a, it is a challenge. It is a, um, you know, we bring up a, a young girl who was raped at, at 10 years old, and I, and I can't comprehend a 10-year-old giving birth. And so there would be a challenge with that. Uh, she is a victim of a crime, a horrific crime. Um, but that's that's not the norm. And we're looking at from Roe v. Wade in 1973, we're looking at about 63 plus 65 million um, babies that were aborted, that were killed. And uh, I believe um, we choose life and, and not death. And so we don't live for ourselves. We live for the Lord. And so God has created us to to um, have children. And um, it's beyond our choice. It's his choice. He created life. Well, that is uh, Ken Kerrigan. He is the Calvary Chapel Cornerstone Church pastor, and that's in Florida. Uh, Jeff Myers, Dr. Jeff Myers, rather, with Summit Ministries in Colorado. Thank you both for joining us. I appreciate your time. God bless. And more to come here. Um, that is such a, I mean, that conversation. Faith is always going to play a role in the decision making of those who are the faithful. Uh, they're always going to look through their own prism, just like anybody with their values is going to look through that prism themselves. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.